we present Viking, vision-based kilometer scale navigation with geographic hints. I'm Dhruv, and this is joint work with Sergey Levin at UC Berkeley. In this work, we consider the task of vision-based navigation from egocentric images. While many contemporary approaches can utilize such high-dimensional observations to learn a useful control policy, their range is generally limited to tens of meters. When humans navigate new environments, they make use of both geographic knowledge obtained from overhead maps or other cues and learned patterns. Humans don't require maps or auxiliary signals to be very accurate and can navigate a neighborhood using only a rough schematic that roughly indicates streets and houses. How do we teach our robots to learn from such geographic hints and incorporate them into vision-based navigation frameworks? In this paper, we present Viking an algorithm that combines elements of learning-based control with a high-level heuristic-based planning. A local image-based controller is trained on prior data from other environments and reasons about navigational affordances directly from images. It also provides proposals to the planner about which nearby landmarks are likely to be reachable by sampling process. Meanwhile, an A-star-like higher-level planner selects candidate waypoints in order to reach a faraway goal, incorporating geographic and site information as a planning heuristic. This site information can come in the form of a schematic roadmap or a higher fidelity satellite image centered at the robot's rough GPS location. This information is incorporated into the model using a learned neural network that maps the geographic hints to a learned heuristic cost, which is fed into the planning algorithm. Thus, when the hints are accurate, they help the robot navigate towards the goal, and when they're inaccurate, the robot can still rely on its image observations to search the environment. Note that the robot is deployed in a novel environment that it has not seen before. Viking is trained on an offline dataset of trajectories collected in a diverse variety of environments, including driving on city sidewalks, hiking trails, and parks. This dataset is comprised of 30 hours of publicly available robot navigation dataset collected by an autonomous driving policy and 12 hours of human teleoperated data. Notably, Viking never sees trajectories longer than 80 meters, but is able to leverage the learned heuristic to reach goals over a kilometer away in previously unseen environments, as shown on this map of the geographic locations of train and test environments around the cities of Berkeley and Richmond. Putting all this together, we get a system that looks something like this. You take a picture of the desired goal, like this photo of construction beams, and its rough GPS location, which is embedded in the EXIF of this image, and command Viking to navigate to its goal in a new environment. As shown here, the robot only has access to egocentric image observations in the target and an overhead roadmap from Google Maps. It uses these observations to navigate in previously unseen environments using the recipe described earlier. Now, let's look at some videos of Viking deployed in real-world environments. We evaluate Viking in a diverse set of environments using geographic hints in the form of satellite image hints or rough schematic roadmaps at the robot's location. Let's look at some of these more closely. In this experiment, the robot is tasked to reach a building specified by the goal image on the top right and a rough GPS location marked by the green dot in the bottom right. The robot uses its egocentric image observations and hints in the form of satellite images to navigate through complex environments including following roads, navigating back alleys, cutting across off-road environments like the grassy field, and even a patch of trees. In this instance, the robot drives itself into a cul-de-sac and is able to utilize its topological map to backtrack and find an alternate path to the goal by following the road. To enable more useful behavior in complex environments, like a task of outdoor navigation, we can extend the setting in the previous experiment by instead providing the robot with a sequence of checkpoints like these. We provide Viking with these goals one at a time while reusing the topological graph to navigate a 2.6 kilometer trajectory in the Richmond Field Station. Note that the robot does not have prior knowledge about the trajectories be between the specified checkpoints and must find a path using egocentric visual observations and an overhead satellite map. The robot is able to successfully navigate through challenging on-road and off-road terrain without requiring a single human intervention. This includes behavior such as following any available roads, on avoiding parked automobiles and other obstacles on the road, through rocky dirt paths and trails or roads that are not marked in the overhead map but the robot has learned as traversable regions, and dense vegetation that often obstructs the robot's onboard camera observations. Such vegetation appears as obstacles on a LiDAR and often causes purely geometric methods to fail due to their inability to represent them as traversable regions. Here's a glimpse of the robot trajectories in several other environments that we evaluate Viking in. Most notably, 
The right image shows Viking on an outdoor hiking trail with a series of checkpoints guiding it through a 2.7 km loop in the Berkeley Oakland Hills. To understand the role of geographic hints on the learned heuristic and the nature of preferences learned from these hints, we compare the learned behaviors of Viking with satellite image hints and roadmap hints for a fixed start goal location pair. We find that providing roadmap hints encourages the robot to follow marked roads, while satellite image hints discover a more direct path, in this case by cutting across a meadow. We hypothesize that this is due to the ability of the learned models to extract better correlations from the feature-rich satellite images in contrast to a more abstract roadmap. To understand the importance of these hints, we look at the behavior of Viking when such hints are not available to the robot. For this experiment, the goal is a bus that lies behind a building that the robot must navigate around. In contrast to Viking, which is able to use a satellite image to follow a smooth path around the building that follows a marked road, Viking Nosat does not have access to an overhead image and follows a more greedy approach to finding the goal, taking significantly longer. That said, this experiment also illustrates the ability of the underlying search algorithm to handle less useful heuristics. While the path is significantly longer, the method is still able to eventually reach the destination, and in some sense, the mistakes the method makes are to be expected of any system that has no prior map information. In contrast, GCG, which also has access to GPS but no overhead map, fails to exhibit such behavior and is unable to find a path around the building. Thank you for watching, and please check out our project page for experiment videos in other challenging environments and for more information about our method.